So, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You know, the other day I saw a cartoon drawing saying that Uru Kenyatta is dragging Kalonzo Musioka and the caption was that Wachana na Railo Dinga. So come this way so that I give you what you have never had. And they were going towards 2027. And you see, Uru Kenyatta is now appearing to be a man who is seeming to be playing either Railo Dinga or Kalonzo Musioka or he's playing both of them or there is something that is organizing to bring these two factions on board, but there is a hill that is being faced. Or what would you say in this case? You know, they are talking about Uru's formation of new party. And this new party, nobody knows its whereabouts. Nobody knows what it is going to incorporate. You just see, you know, politicians trying to insinuate that Uru Kenyatta is coming up with a new party. And this party is looking forward to 2027. He's looking forward to bringing on board people who are going to give William Ruto sleepless nights and headache for 2027. So what do you think is happening between Uru Kenyatta, Kalonzo Musioka, and Railo Dinga? And what is the game that is at play here? Because for me, where I stand in the critical in look at it, there is one area that Uru Kenyatta is really trying through thick and thin to harmonize. And this is the area of the Geba community. So this is exactly what Uru Kenyatta is going to do to Railo Dinga and Kalonzo Musioka. And I want to give you a secret that you might not have known. First of all, the reason why Uru Kenyatta is dragging Kalonzo Musioka and even the cartoons are depicting that Uru Kenyatta is siding with Kalonzo Musioka to kind of try to leave Railo Dinga. He is not leaving Railo Dinga. In fact, they are not leaving Railo Dinga. This three-legged stool is going to sustain a future even past 2027. And what they are going to do in 2027 is what we call the mathematical application of what they have currently. If you look at Railo Dinga's stronghold and you also compare it with Kalonzo's stronghold and then you bring in the gamer community, you will note that the person who is most probable to be supported by the gamer community is none other than Kalonzo Musioka. However much we are talking about the fact that maybe the gamma committee might be realizing that we have been neglecting Railo Dinga or denying him an opportunity, yet indeed is a, a good man. For now, if decision is supposed to be made, you put Kalonzo and you put Railo Dinga, they will mostly go with Kalonzo. The, the, the political alienation can be very much feasible to be fostered between the Kamba community and the gamer community more than the way we'll be trying to have it between the Luo community and the gamer community. That is politics. And we cannot run away from that fact. So the moment you see Kalonzo coming out to tell us maybe a secret or something in the offing, you saw the other day when he posted how he will deal with Ruto in 2027, he posted uh, Justin B. Muturi and also went to the Western region and posted Moses Wetangula. Moses Wetangula has been his friend. Remember when, before we had Kalonzo joining Railo Dinga in 2022, they said that um, there was a talk for Moses Utangula to sweet talk Kalonzo and befriend him to Kenya Kwanza. And we could hear moments where Ruto really wanted Wetangula to sweet talk Kalonzo. And Wetangula said, Kalonzo is his friend. And you take Wetangula and generally look at the way he's been with Railo Dinga. This, nowadays, they can't resonate on one ground. Otherwise, Moses Wetangula is kind of having an oath not to support Railo Dinga again in politics. So they has have come to that extent. So you talk of Justin B. Muturi is a friend of Kalonzo Musioka. So the gamer community has a soft support for Kalonzo. Even the other time we were seeing Rigiji making fun of Kalonzo saying that, you know, they have always loved him. They have always tried to ensure that he is the one that they can work with. And the only hindrance or encumbrance he has been having is because he is siding with Railo Dinga. So when Uru Kenyatta is dragging Kalonzo, he's kind of trying to send a picture that the man he can side with for the game of faction to align with the political ideology, if he is supposed to be fronted on board in 2027, it is Kalonzo Musioka. We also had that moment where 
uh, you know, we, we, we were seeing that, that Kalonzo Musyoka has been dubbed as the hater of the Kikuyu community. And Uru, Kenyatta is so much strategically using this moment to bring Kalonzo on board and tell the Gemma community, this man is not hating you. And that hate was actually choreographed in what happened when Kalonzo was trying to distance himself from what the Kamwene faction in Azimio was standing for. He has been hating this Kamwene faction because he knows exactly what they can do. And this Kamwene faction might not have been officiated or given the blessings by Uru Kenyatta. So Uru Kenyatta is not very much private or close to what the Kamwene faction stands for. So when we talk of an instance of Uru Kenyatta coming with his new party, it is a party that might seek to consolidate the gamer community. But at the end of the day, it is not a party that is going to front somebody from the gamer community. Right now, I know exactly, and you know very well, that for us to have somebody confronting William Ruto, it will either be Railo Dinga or Kalonzo Musioka. If you talk of a person from the gamer community, it will be somebody who is being used to divide the Mount Kenya community. They will be used as somebody who is not targeting to win the presidency, but to bring division. And so Uru Kenyatta coming with this party is not supposed to make us interpret that the Gamer community is going to front somebody, but it is a party that is aligning, making a consolidated effort to ensure that whoever Mount Kenya will back will be somebody they will be giving the full force and the full support for 2027. So when you see for now, Uru Kenyatta dragging Kalonzo and telling him, leave Raila Odinga alone, Ra Nilisha Swano Raila Odinga. So it is the work of Uru Kenyatta to ensure that Kalonzo is accepted in the gamer community. So if you want somebody who is going to be very much closer to Kalonzo Musika, then it is Uru Kenyatta. So this portrait is very real. This portrait is telling us that Uru Kenyatta is playing nobody in this case, but he is bringing Kalonzo at his chest all right, so that Kalonzo can smell the breath of how the Mount Kenya community can be galvanized, consolidated, and be put forward to meet anything that Kalonzo will stand for. And Uru Kenyatta has always been with Kalonzo. You remember even 2013, even 20, you know, 2017 almost, Kalonzo almost, you know. 2013, you remember the, the, the time we had Kalonzo Mudavadi, uh, we also had Eugene Wamalo. You know, it, it was it was a movement, a clear movement. It is only William Ruto who did not want <laughs> Kalonzo from day one. So, there is something that has not been completed. There are very many people who need to uh, give Kalonzo Kalonzo Tasha moment. You talk of Raila Dinga, you talk of Uru Kenyatta. They still have something to repay. Okay, they have a debt, political debt with Kalonzo Musyoka. So, when you see Uru Kenyatta dragging him, I think it is signifying a force that Uru Kenyatta is forming in the gamer community and to make Kalonzo be so much embraceable by the gamer community. And so in 2027, when they will land on Kalonzo or Raila, it will be a solidified ground. Raila Dinga is always having the default setting. Everybody would want him to be. But when we talk of a decision-making criteria that will ensure that they do things differently, Kalonzo might be the best bet. We have always talked about it. We have always tried to see that he might be the best bet. Or what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Is Uru Kenyatta playing Kalonzo, or is he playing Raila Dinga, or is he playing both, or what is it doing, according to your understanding? Let me listen to you. We'll catch up next. Have a great moment.